I'm Jay Fifto with Battle Arms University. I'm in the shop today, and today's lesson we're going to show you how to install our ultra compact pistol saber tube with vert buffer system combo. So here's what we're going to need in order to complete our installation. So obviously, we've got our Bad 556 lightweight lower receiver. We're going to need our buffer retaining spring and a buffer retainer. These two items don't come in the kit for the ultra compact pistol saber tube but they are available on our website. And let's go ahead and open up the package and see what we got. So first we're gonna have our compact recoil spring, our short ultra compact pistol saber tube, small packet of some VC3 for the thread locker, obviously battle arms decal, A quick detach sling connect end plate. You will need this for the installation. And last but not least, our ultra compact vert buffer. As we get everything out, just go ahead and do a quick inspection of your components, make sure everything is there. We want to make sure that the buffer spring fully compresses and returns. And then we can start. One thing you do want to make sure of, because this uses an end plate, is to have your rear takedown pin already installed. Because the end plate is going to cover up your access to install your spring and detent for your rear takedown pin. So make sure we do that first. We do have another video that shows how to install your rear takedown pin. First thing we want to do is go with our bench block, place the receiver on, make sure that it's secure. I'm going to take our buffer retainer plunger and our spring. We're going to install them in the lower receiver. Make sure that it springs up and down, there's no resistance. And now we can begin installation of the receiver extension. Alright, so to begin the actual installation of the Sabre tube, first thing we want to do is take our QD end plate and the Sabre tube, and we want to make sure that this side faces towards the receiver. So the part that's extended out is going to index into the slot on the receiver. I'm just going to slide that over the saber tube. And then your kit is going to come with a small packet of some VC3 thread locker. Since I'm here at the shop, I got a larger container of it. So I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of this. We're just going to apply it to a few of the threads, not too much. It doesn't take very much. But we just kind of go along the middle here, just along the top. And once you've got the VC3 thread locker on there, you want to let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let it dry a little bit before you actually install it into the receiver. All right. Now that the VC3 has had a chance to, to dry a little bit, we're going to go ahead and move it towards the receiver. First thing, we're going to get our threads started. Once those are started, we'll take the end plate and just index that into the back so it sits flush. Once it reaches the plunger, you're going to go ahead and depress the plunger, hold that down, thread it in the rest of the way. And then recommended torque on these is about 20 foot pounds if you wanted to use a strap wrench. However, with the VC3, you can actually tighten it about as much as it needs. Just using both hands with a firm grip and tighten both hands. Now 
Now that we have the saber tube installed, the last thing is simply installing our buffer and our recoil spring. When installing the buffer, we do recommend uh, inside this captive recoil spring area, if you put a little bit of grease just to lube up the guide shaft in there, just to, uh, it just makes the operation a little bit easier. So take the buffer and the recoil spring, and we'll just put them together, snap them in place, and then we can go ahead and install it into the lower receiver. Slide the recoil spring over the descent plunger, and then pop it in. And your ultra compact pistol saber tube with our vert recoil buffer spring is installed. I'm Jay Pifto with Battle Arms University, and we'll see you next time.